This is part two of the Bigfoot research that took place on 16 May 2014. It was a quick trip into the hot zone to test out the helmet cam. I had been on the uh, Mogan Rim in Preacher Canyon to uh, speak to a group of people at the annual Fathers and Sons outing that is sponsored by the church. And so I was on my way back, and I decided to take the uh, scenic route that would take me down through the hot zone, and I would try out my helmet cam. Since the camera was brand new and fresh out of the box, um, I just hooked it up and put the SD card in it and thought I was ready to go. But I learned a very valuable lesson, and that is before you start filming, you need to make sure that your carrying case cover is clean and uh, therefore I have a little few smudge marks on the video and I apologize for that. As stated before I decided it was time to backtrack so I circled around uh, to the high ground and ran across the first indication as to what would be following me and it's a footprint. The print was about 14 inches long, but it was not a real good print. I uh, spotted a, the rain gauge that I wanted to check out up ahead, and uh, that's where I'm headed. I can still hear a, an occasional twig or two snap behind me. There's definitely two back there somewhere. However, I don't think I'm in too much danger because they don't seem to be jockeying for a tactical advantage, uh, in other words, going uphill for an ambush, or trying to cut me off from going back to my vehicle or getting back on the road. This is basically telling me that uh, they're not really interesting in har interested in harming me. What they're more, they're more curious. They're trying to figure out what I'm doing. And it could be the fact that I've got this odd thing sitting on my head. Now, of course, I'm sure they have seen other people with cowboy hats or baseball caps or hunting caps or something like that. But never a hard hat type helmet with a camera on top. So they might be trying to figure out what kind of device this particular thing is. Could it be a threat to them or is it just that I'm a weird person uh, you know it's, it's kinda drawing their attention I believe I finally reached the objective and that was the apple trees I wanted to see if the apple blossoms were setting if they don't set if it's too dry of a year there will be no apples in the fall which means there'll be an, a less amount of food for the animals and for our Bigfoot. The unfortunate news is the blossoms are not setting. There won't be very many apples, if any at all. So therefore I've got to figure out a way to kind of help our friends out a little bit with food to fatten up for winter. I'm kind of thinking that perhaps I should plant a lot of pumpkins in my garden at home and see if I can get uh, a lot of pumpkins that I can maybe take up there and leave behind see if they'll eat them or perhaps maybe get some apples that are uh, cheap or something that I can just take up there and leave in various places. I took the camera out of the carrying case and was using it for a dash cam and you can see that there's no smudges anymore. So basically the smudges were on the inside of the uh, carrying case. 